Welcome back guys to Study Money and in today's video we will show you how to transfer funds to a Gcash account okay, uh, using your BPI online account. So kung kinakailangan mong mag-transfer ng funds to um, somebody that you need to pay for or some you know some entity na kailangan mong bayaran then this video is for you and at the same time if you plan on uh, putting funds in your Gcash account check this video out welcome back guys to study money if you're new to this channel make sure that you hit the thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll get to be notified of all the content that we create and to continue to support us so that we can put out new content so Itong video na to is para sa pag-send ng pera sa GCash. This is a new way that BPI has created. Pwede to sa desktop, pwede rin to sa mobile app. And so, kung makikita mo dito sa screen ko, ang pipiliin mo is transfer to another bank pagkatapos mong ilagay yung amount na isi-send mo. And then, if you keep scrolling down in the list of options that are provided here, ang hanapin mo dito ay... Gcash. Okay? So, yes. Nandiyan na yung Gcash sa list of other banks ni BPI. And kapag pinili mo yan, hihingan ka pa ng ibang information pa ni BPI na kailangan mong ilagay so that you can proceed with your transaction. So, once you have selected Gcash, okay, kailangan mong pumili kung Instapay or Pesonet. So, at the making of this video, Instapay is the only option and it's for free. So, ano nga bang ilalagay mo dito sa account number? So, palagi mong tandaan, ang nasa account number dapat ay ang cellphone number ng tatanggap ng pera. Okay? Ulitin ko, cellphone number. Ngayon naman, yung account name ay dapat yung account name na associated dun sa GCash account. So, you have to confirm it with the recipient kung ano yung cellphone number na GCash and account name associated sa GCash. And might I suggest that you also put in some notes here para alam ng kung sino man tatanggap na sa'yo galing itong pera na to. And so, I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you do, once again, hit the like button for any questions or comments. Put it in the comment section below. And hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.